Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Tonight is a bonus from our Story of Film Festival. We're showing some of the movies talked about in part seven of that documentary series, The Story of Film and Odyssey. Part seven primarily focuses on the innovative filmmaking, which came out of Western Europe in the 50s and 60s, and certainly one of the most influential movements in that time was the so-called new wave movement going on in films in France. That was an attempt by a handful of French filmmakers, many of them former movie critics, to strip away all and any artifice in filmmaking, especially the artifice that was so dominant in Hollywood films. And usually when you hear about French New Wave filmmakers, names like Francois Truffaut, Jacques Demy, Jean-Luc Godard, and Claude Chabrol are constantly mentioned. All of the men, talented men certainly, but men nonetheless. Well, there was a female filmmaker who was very prominent and a founding member of the French New Wave. In fact, she's been called the grandmother of the French New Wave. Her name is Agnes Varda, and up next we have one of her first feature films. It's a movie called Cleo from 5 to 7. It was made in 1962. It's a really interesting look into two hours in the life of, of a Parisian singer. The singer Cleo is waiting for test results from a doctor on what could be a life-changing diagnosis for her. She's terrified of what the results might be as the clock ticks away until she gets her answer. She journeys around Paris touching base with friends, shopping, working, doing anything she can to take her mind off what could be very bad news. All this is done in an almost documentary style, something which came naturally to Agnes Varda, though, who prior to becoming a filmmaker had been a photojournalist. Well, here's the movie, a most intriguing movie from 1962 and starring Corinne Marchand in the title role. Here's Cleo from 5 to 7. <laughs> 